Okay, so our meeting is being recorded. Uh, we intend to post this on our city website and we'll certainly show you that link in just a minute. Uh, I want to introduce myself. I'm Lauren Preer. I'm the assistant director for capital delivery. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce uh, some of my co-presenters. Chad Edwards, he is the assistant director for regional and mobility innovations. There he is, as well as Raj Gupta. He is our city traffic engineer. So they'll be they'll help they'll be helping me assist with this presentation throughout. Um, I would say please hold your questions till the end. We do have about 40 slides to go through. Uh, these slides will be posted on the internet. So just a little bit about our agenda today. Uh, so we'll talk about the 2018 bond progress, as well as the Tarrant County Transportation Bond Program, kind of what the rules are for that. Um, we'll cover our arterials, our mobility projects, as well as a, a potential partnership with the city of Euless, and then our path forward. Uh, in your comment section is a handout that we'd like for you to reference throughout this presentation. It is posted on our website. Um, Jeff Allen has just posted that there, so I'll give you all just a second to go and find that. So what you'll notice in this handout that page one is a visual of the arterial and intersection projects proposed for the 2021 Tarrant County bond program, as well as the cities of Fort Worth 2022 bond program. Page two is a visual of our 2014, 2018, and proposed 2022 projects for arterials. And then page three is also a visual for the 2014, 2018, and 2022 intersection projects. All right, Has any, if you have any issues with getting to that link, please let us know in the chat button. We'll see what we can do to help. So we wanted to touch on a, at a high level where we're at with the 2018 bond program. So our 2014 bond program has a remaining budget of 26 million, of which McCart Avenue phase one and phase two is about $19 million of that. So these projects are projected to award construction this September with construction completing in November of 2022 and October of 2023. The chart shown here is what we call our spend projections. So we have 56 projects that will be going into construction within the next 12 months. In May of 2022, which is our proposed bond for the city of Fort Worth, eight projects will remain from our 2018 bond program, and those are shown here. So in order to speed up delivery of the bond program, design right of way and utility relocation will begin this summer for selected projects, primarily arterials. So this January, Council authorized the appropriation of about 9.8 million in future improvement agreement funds for project kickoff activities related to the 2022 bond program. So this is an overview of our proposed 2022 bond program. So the categories in red are projects that are named projects within the bond. All of the other categories are what we call buckets for which the projects will be named at a later date. So today we wanted to focus on arterials, intersections and traffic signals as these are what is eligible for the Tarrant County bond participation. And we're kind of on a short timeline for these. We wanted to discuss today each individual project proposed uh, will follow in this presentation. So at this time, Tarrant County bond funds are assumed to be half of the total project cost minus any funds spent to date. So the general idea is that the more funds we can leverage into these eligible categories with Tarrant County bond funds, the more projects we'll be able to accomplish. So it should be noted that these funding totals will change between now and the proposed city of Fort Worth bond election in May of 2022. So our other funds category includes impact fees, 2018 unspent bond funds, as well as future improvement agreement funds that we just discussed were uh, appropriated for uh, project kickoff funds. So projects discussed tonight are in the conceptual phase. So some project details may not be known at this point. We've not started design. So a little bit about the Tarrant County bond fund opportunity before we get started. On January 28th, city staff was officially informed of the $400 million 
2021 Tarrant County Transportation Bond Program. So staff has reviewed the following criteria to put forward projects with the highest opportunity for selection. The first category is the call for projects category. It's funded for up to $200 million. So this will likely be split $50 million per precinct. Uh, the local match will be at least 50% of the total project cost. So TP pl TPW plans to submit arterials, intersection improvements, as well as traffic signal improvements. The county will establish a project evaluation committee to develop a priority list of projects that will be subject to the commissioner's court modification approval. So the discretionary projects fund is funded for up to $75 million. So this funding category allocates around $15 million to each of the five uh, commissioner court members. So about $1.5 million per year uh, for any transportation related projects described in the policy. So TPW staff are meeting with the commissioners to discuss the projects planned in their precincts. Projects in this category will be selected by the commissioner court members. The county initiatives and partnership category is funded for up to 125 million. So this category will reserve funding for strategic projects identified by the commissioner's court aimed at providing multi-jurisdictional benefits and enhancing financial leveraging opportunities. So projects in this category will also be selected by the commissioner's court. So we'll move into our projects that we have proposed. First, we'll start off with arterial projects. So city staff has been working on the proposed 2022 bond since about summer of 2019. So our city bond prioritization took into account the criteria listed here using both spatial analysis, so GIS and maps, as well as other non-spatial considerations like economic development opportunities. And if there's a project, uh, if the project is a gap in our built out areas. So again, to maximize leveraging of the Tarrant County bond program, priority was given in this exercise to projects that increase capacity, projects that promote economic development, grade separated railroad crossings, and projects that can start construction in the next four years. So 2022 to 2026. So just a little background, um, congestion includes uh, it's based on anticipated demand using the traffic master thoroughfare plan course cast models. Um, capital replacement is the relative condition of the thoroughfare based on the pavement condition index. Um, crash is based on crash data. Infrastructure includes walking, bike trails, um, bus stops, as well as the location to, to educational institutions. Um, equity, equity is, is based on whether or not the project falls within the majority minority area or a super majority minority area. Uh, public health and safety is whether or not the project is located within uh, a quarter of a mile of hospitals, fire or police stations. Project collaboration is, is our opportunities for internal or ex external stakeholders um, work with, the, for instance, the water department, uh, parks and recreation or the county um, economic development opportunities as well. So the next two slides provide our estimated total project costs in funding categories. So 12, or sorry, 12 arterials and one grade separated railroad crossing are recommended for both the 2022 bond program as well as Tarrant County's bond program. So again, all of our numbers right now assume that suppl all supplementary funding will be approved, and that includes both county bond as well as impact fees. For your information, the project numbers on the map handout refer to the project ranking order. So this will be reassessed after Tarrant County, County funding options are known. So each of these projects is discussed in its own slide. So the following is a, a summary of our project descriptions and the earliest start of construction based on a typical design um, contract and procurement phase. So all arterial projects are planned to be built to the full master, 
master thoroughfare plan cross section. So these dates here assume that design will begin this summer. So projects requiring extensive right of way, railroad, uh, waters of the US permitting are assumed to have a longer pre construction phase duration. So you'll notice that uh, in projects with perhaps a spring of 2025 construction start. Okay, for our first arterial project, so Trinity Boulevard Phase 1 uh, from 820 to Salado Trail is anticipated to go into construction at the end of this fiscal year. So Phase 2 will be a continuation of that four-lane divided thoroughfare. Right now, no right-of-way is, is assumed to be needed. However, this will require overhead utility relocation. I wanted to, to draw your attention to the, the FIA funding category. Um, so FIA means Future Improvement Agreement uh, Funds, and this is um, assessed from developers uh, and able to be put forward towards our projects. So Cromwell Marine Creek was carried over from the 2018 bond program. In the 2018 bond program, this was listed as an intersection only, uh, as well as, as a uh, pavement resurfacing. Uh, so, you know, we, we took a look at this and said, hey, this isn't going to cut it um, in terms of relieving congestion. So this has been transformed into a 2022 bond project. Uh, currently, we're developing 30% construction plans for a four lane divided thoroughfare. So we're going from intersection only improvements to the full master thoroughfare plan cross section. This project will also tie into the 2014 bond project for Marine Creek Parkway and Old Decatur Road. So Avondale Hazlitt is also another 2018 bond program project that was carried forward into 2022. Uh, currently working on 30% plans and schematics for Avondale Hazlitt. Uh, again, this was transformed from an intersection only project to the full master thoroughfare plan cross section. Uh, so our project will begin just east of Willow Creek North uh, to the west of Willow Creek North is already four lanes. So our plans pursue uh, between 110 and 120 foot right away uh, to match the city of Hazlitt's cr concrete cross section. So the proposed Bonds Ranch Road is a four lane divided with the ability to expand to six lanes in the future. This project includes filling the gap between the, the existing two lane Wagley Robertson to the north uh, to connect to, with Bonds Ranch Road. So this is also an extension of the 2018 Bonds Ranch project from 287 to 156. So WJ Boaz from Boat Club Road to Elkins School Road is planned as a four lane divided thoroughfare with a spring 2025 construction start date. So this project is gonna help flatten that curve uh, and build the long-term intersection at Boaz and Bowman Roberts. Currently, we have an interim roundabout planned at Boaz and Bowman Roberts that's, that's ready for construction. So the eastern half of this project will likely be built, be built by development as the preliminary plats are already in progress. So Park Vista Boulevard, Park Vista Boulevard is for the design and construction of 0.47 miles of two additional lanes of traffic traffic to complete the ultimate four lane divided thoroughfare designated by the MTP. So this is building the other two lanes to fill the gap. This project ties into the 2014 projects for Park Vista from Kaler to Timberland and Timberland from 377 to Excelsior Lane. Ray, Wright, Ray White Road South and North is a capacity increasing project that will provide a north-south route between Golden Triangle and Heritage Trace. It is a planned five lane undivided, which is four lanes with a dual left turn lane. So right now we're assuming a roundabout will be constructed in lieu of a signal at the intersection with Wall Price. 
uh, killer, but ultimately, ultimately this will be determined uh, by what we call an intersection control evaluation that's done during design. So this project will also tie into the 2018 bond project on Croker Drive from 377 to Heritage Park. So again, this is also a Ray White Road North as a continuation of the Southern project. Uh, this project will also increase capacity and provide that north-south route between Golden Triangle and Heritage Trace. Uh, so it should be noted that this corridor is fully developed along the limits. The Keller Hicks Road project will complete the corridor from US 377 uh, Keller Hicks from Lauren Way to, to 377 is, is currently a 2018 bond slash developer slash city of Keller project with construction expected to begin this fall or winter. Uh, Keller, Keller Hicks Road from Lauren Way to Park Vista Boulevard is planned as a three lane undivided thoroughfare. Beecham Boulevard is preliminary planned as a five-lane undivided thoroughfare. Uh, there are no planned improvements to the existing four-lane bridge over the train tracks since the MTP section is a four-lane plus a dual left turn lane. The developer to, is, is assumed to construct the southern, southern half as denoted in the blue between Dean Road and I-35. The proposed Heritage Trace Parkway would provide a continuous corridor from Boat Club Road to 377. So this project is assuming a grade separated crossing over the railroad east of 287 and Saginaw Boulevard. Potentially, we would relocate the Hicksfield at grade crossing, opening up development along Heritage Trace. Intermodal Parkway has been identified as an economic development opportunity for construction of four lanes from the BNSF logistics facility to Old Blue, Blue Mound Road, where the railroad tracks are. $5.1 million in transportation impact fees would be used to match Tarrant County bond funds for the reconstruction and widening of Intermodal Parkway if selected by the Tarrant County bond. So Everman Parkway is our proposed grade separated railroad crossing. Um, so as we know, railroads are not allowing new or additional at grade crossings. So the Everman Parkway grade separated crossing would be a new east west road segment linking Everman to I-35, potentially taking traffic off of Sycamore School Road. So there is an existing industrial development at the east end, and this access to the property would allow for potential economic development opportunities. Okay, so that concludes our 12 arterial projects and one grade separated railroad crossing. We'll move into the intersection projects. So the following intersection projects will increase capacity and improve safety for pedestrians and motorists alike. These intersection projects all include a change to the geometric layout of the intersection. So we'll be pursuing Tarrant County bond funding for all of the intersection projects listed here. We also have individual projects slides that follow. Our project ranking criteria in this, in this category included equity, so both the super MMA and the MMA, service deficiency, so the level of service, congestion, as well as the ability to improve mobility, public health and safety, so the, the level of comfort of the motorist and pedestrian, as well as any crash, hist crash history, and as well as federal state legal requirements. So are we able to maintain current standards and what is the, the condition of the equipment? So the Jacksboro Highway and Northside Drive project will increase capacity and reduce stack up by constructing an additional left turn lane on Northside Drive. Pedestrian safety will be increased by upgrading the ADA ramps to compliance.
The McCart Avenue and West Creek Drive project will improve site distance by constructing a zero offset left turn lane. So zero offset left turn lane means the turn lanes are aligned as well as increased capacity and reduced delays. The Camp Bowie Boulevard and Brian Irving Road intersection project will increase capacity, be, increase capacity by constructing additional left turn lanes onto Camp Bowie Boulevard. The Camp Bowie Boulevard and Horn Street project will improve mobility and increase safety by modifying the number of access points so close to the intersection. So we'll be constructing a 100 foot narrow raised median along Horn Street from Camp Bowie to the north, converting the narrowed lock and Camp Bowie service approaches into right in, right out only. So we'll also be removing uh, 400 feet of the Rosedale leg from Horn to the east and reconstructing a new outside lane for Camp Bowie that can only access Rosedale Street or Lock Avenue. The North Tarrant Parkway and North Beach Street intersection will improve capacity by constructing dual left turn lanes uh, that are channelized. So this will also increase safety by reducing the pedestrian crossing distance and upgrading the ADA ramps to compliance. The Alta Mesa Boulevard and Woodway Drive intersection project will increase capacity by constructing channelized islands with a positive offset. So the island uh, will be to the right of the turn lane. So you can see the oncoming traffic. So these projects increase safety by again, reducing the pedestrian crossing distance and upgrading the ADA ramps to compliance. Forest Hill Drive and Royal Crest Drive. Uh, so this area is beginning to develop. Uh, we're looking at increasing capacity by adding left turn lanes on Forest Hill Drive, as well as increasing the pedestrian safety by providing ADA ramps. East Ferry Street and South Riverside Drive uh, so what we're looking to do here is add channelized islands to reduce the pedestrian crossing distance at this intersection, as well as increase capacity and re reduce delays um, by adding ADA ramps. So Trinity Boulevard and Eula South Main Street. The, the intent of this project is to increase site distance by constructing zero offset left turn lanes, increase the capacity and reduce delays in this intersection, as well as providing the ADA ramp upgrades. South Hewland Street and Rising Deer Road. Uh, this project will improve site distance by constructing a zero offset or an aligned left turn lane on Rising Deer Road. Uh, increase signal operation and efficiency by reducing the number of phases, increase capacity, as well as increasing the safety through ADA ramps. Brian Irvin Road and Oakmont Boulevard. So this project will improve site distance by constructing, again, zero offset left turn lanes in Oakmont Boulevard, uh, increasing the signal operation and efficiency by reducing the number of phases as well as increasing the capacity at the intersection and safety due to the ADA ramp upgrades. So the scope of the Main Street tra traffic signal upgrades is to upgrade the signalized intersections by installing the powder coated black poles, arms, pedestrian signals, uh, cameras, and pavement markings and signage from Main Street from 1st to 9th Street with the exception of Main Street at 3rd and 4th. Okay, we'll move on to traffic signal projects. We'll have plenty of time for questions. I know we're, we're moving through this quickly. We'll also have these slides posted to the internet. So the following traffic signal projects will provide for the installation of new traffic signals to increase mobility, enhance safety, 
reduce congestion and improve connectivity on the intersections where a traffic control signal is justified. So these projects will not have a geometric improvement to the intersection, but will have new traffic signals. So this is also part of a larger bucket of $19.5 million. Uh, so as we, we know project funding categories from Tarrant County in this, this um, in the traffic signal, that will adjust how the, the bucket is, is apportioned out. So project breaking criteria in this category included equity, public health and safety, infrastructure, capital replacement, federal and state legal requirements, as well as any service deficiencies. I'll let y'all take a look at that. So we do not have individual slides for these. Again, this is these are intersections um, that have signal warranted operation. So likely, you know, th these could be four way stops that need to be upgraded to a traffic signal, um, but there is no intended uh, change to the, the geometric layout of these intersections. Okay, moving on to a partnership opportunity with the city of Ulysses. So the city of Ulysses had brought in this opportunity to the city of Fort Worth for pipeline road between Highland Drive and Industrial Boulevard. Uh, the, the city of Ulysses section of the pipeline project is currently at 90% design. And the city of Ulysses contacted the city with a proposition to pay half of our local match. So this me would mean that the city is leveraging 75% of the project cost. So upon further investigation of the project, it was realized that the project has benefit to support our 25% funding level. And the project benefits include a new concrete section to reduce future maintenance costs, as well as increasing stormwater capacity by installing a new storm drain system. All right, we're almost at the end of our presentation, but wanted to talk to you a little bit about our path forward. So as we've mentioned, there is a short time frame for the Tarrant County bond uh, project submittal. So between now and April 6th, we'll be talking to our council members, our community, as well as the, the county about our project bond list. So tonight and on Saturday, we'll have community meetings. April 6th, we've scheduled a, a mayor and council communication for the city council resolution of support, certifying our local funding commitment. So as we've stated previously, each of these projects will require at least a 50% local match. So that's what this, this MNC is doing, is, is certifying that what projects we're putting forward, as well as our city council's commitment to meet their 50% match. All of our project applications are due to Tarrant County on April 16th. This summer and fall, we'll be scheduling City of Fort Worth bond community meetings. This is where we're gonna talk about other categories like neighborhood streets, and we'll be talking about arterials as well, um, but really to get more into the City of Fort Worth bond opportunities. From May through August of 2021, Tarrant County will be evaluating each of the projects that we submit. Uh, the Tarrant County Commissioner's Court approval is anticipated for August 16th, and the Tarrant County bond election is scheduled for November 2nd. Our proposed City of Fort Worth bond election is scheduled for May of 2022. So that concludes our presentation. We'll open it up to question and comments. You know, we certainly want to hear your feedback, but I'll leave this up here. Uh, for the duration, the, this is our contact information. Again, I'm Lauren Preer. I'm the Assistant Director for Capital Delivery. We have Chad Edwards. He's the Assistant Director for Regional Mobility and Innovation. So he primarily helps us plan the arterials. And then Raj Gupta, he's our City Traffic Engineer, and he is primarily responsible for the planning of our, our mobility, our intersection projects. All right, do we have any questions?
feel free to unmute or you can type your your question in the chat box. I hope everyone can see that. Um, it's it's a, a little uh, chat logo at, at the top of your screen. We will be posting these to the, the website you see here. I'm sorry. Uh, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, this go is, ahead. Who are we talking to? This is this is Jeff Neal from the North Central Texas Council of Governments. I just had a clarification question. Uh, yes, was go ahead. The 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 Bonds Ranch Road project. Uh, that project uh, does uh, does it or does it not include uh, an at grade crossing over the BNSF rail line between Ragley Robertson and US 287? Yes, it does. Okay. It does include an at grade crossing. That's correct. Thank you very much. Do we have any additional questions? Was everyone able to get to the handout all right? I'm gonna take your silence as a yes. Okay, well, pending any other other questions, I think we're we're done for tonight. Uh, again, the slides, the presentation, our contact information will be posted at the City of Fort Worth website. So please, if you have, you know, if you think about something in the, the next coming days, please feel free to email or call us. We appreciate your time um, and look forward to your questioning, questions and comments.